What the heck does Nanu have against Ash? What's up, you two? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to a Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review. Now, before we jump into anything, I have a question for anyone and everyone that clicks on this video. If you know the answer, let me know in the comments down below. Um, a couple anime reviews ago, the uh, the Ashes Lycanroc versus Tapu Bulu video. Why did that video blow up? What was so good about that video? Why was that video so attracted? If anyone knows the answer to that, let me know in the comments down below because I kind of want to get all of these like that. But anyway, let's jump into it. Recapping the last episode, Team Rocket mastered their Mimikyu Z move. Ash is ready to take on Nanu after training with Tapu Bulu, but gets tasked with battling Team Rocket for the chance to do so. Pikachu versus Mimikyu is very in Mimikyu's favor, even with Mimikyu hitting the Z move on Pikachu. But as Mimikyu jumps off of Pikachu, Pikachu's protected by a newly learned Electro Web and then hits Mimikyu with his own 10 million volt Thunderbolt. So Team Rock is defeated and then taken away by Beware. Nanu agrees to the fight. You know, I did that review of that episode in about 30 seconds. Maybe I could take some pointers from that. Now today's episode, amazing, 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 amazing. We see Ash take on Nanu for his third grand trial. If you checked out this episode, let me know your favorite parts in the comments down below. Let's get into it because there's a whole lot to talk about. We see at the very beginning, Acerola's Mudsdale has taken her and Nanu off to the shrine where they saw Tapu Bulu and they came in um, and Acerola was putting a basket of fruit down and sees that there's also a basket of flowers that we never really found out where they came from. I wasn't sure if that was from Bulu or if she was looking to see if Nanu was already out there. Well, she walks outside and we do see that Nanu's there and she makes the comment, even you would be here early on a day. Oh, I just realized what's going on. So in Alola, we all know that they have their traditions well, when she showed up with her fruit as her offering to the guardians, Nanu had already done a, uh, an offering of flowers because this is going to be uh, a guardians or a, um, a grand trial battle day. Makes perfect sense. So Nanu and them see the sunrise and they're like, all right, today's the day for a battle. We flash over to Ash and we see him loading up his Rockium Z crystal. And he's, let's go guys, and all of him and his Pokemon head off towards the battle. The intro runs and we see that this episode is called Nanu's Grand Trial, Lycanroc Awakens. Ash meets face to face with Nanu at the trial site and they both look very determined. They both look ready for a battle. And Nanu comes up and says, all right, let's get started and explains his grand trial while holding on to his dark Z crystal, which he keeps around his neck. He explains to Ash, hey, you have to beat three of my Pokemon by only using one of your own. And Ash is like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so difficult. But goes to Lycanroc and says, hey, this is gonna be an intense battle. Are you okay with that? Are you ready for it? And Lycanroc agrees, Ash agrees to the battle, and Nanu's like, dang it, I was really hoping that you were gonna say no. I thought that maybe this challenge would wind up being too much for you. Not the case, and Ash is like, no, 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 Lycanroc is way too motivated to get revenge for what happened the last time they fought. And Nanu's like, okay, that's cool and all, but do you guys really think that you're prepared? Do you think that you've powered up enough to win? And Nanu starts throwing shade. Nanu was throwing shade the entire time. You know, Nanu, the guy with the dark EMZ. The first battle up is Lycanroc versus Crocodile, so it's the rematch that we saw before. Crocodile gets sent out and his Intimidate ability goes off, but it works a little less. Like, Lycanroc notices it, but all he does is dip his head just a little bit. He's good to go. The battle starts off the same way as before with Lycanroc getting trapped in a sand tomb, and we see his eyes turn red. And right from the beginning, everyone's like, oh no, not again, why don't we go train? But Lycanroc just jumps up out of the, out of the mud, Lands down and shakes off. His eyes turn back to green. He seems to have been controlling it. Ash considers using an Acel Rock, but then he hesitates and he has a flashback to their first battle where he got hit by counter. So instead he, gets, he just starts doing rock throw after rock throw after rock throw. 
and Nanu calls him out. Nanu goes, this battle is so boring. I thought that you and Lycanroc would be a little more, you know, have a little more to you, a little more umph. Like, what are you doing? You're just running away. You're just being a chicken. And like I said, Nanu throwing shade the entire time. Lycanroc eventually turns around and says, hey, I can do this. I want to fight. To where Ash says, all right, cool, great, SL Rock. And Lycanroc took off and smacked Crocodile, and a single rock throw knocked out Crocodile. A little underwhelming for what we have seen. Granted, this Crocodile wasn't really overpowered. He had Sand Tomb. He had he just really didn't didn't have too many powerful moves. His whole gimmick was um, was his counterattack, and he didn't get to use that in this battle. The next opponent up was Lycanroc versus Sableye. We haven't seen Sableye in a long time, and him being a dark ghost type, I certainly didn't think that he was a uh, dark rock or ghost rock type the entire time I was watching the episode. How would I how would I possibly mix that up? Anyway, Dark Ghost type Sableye comes out and they're fighting and their attacks are clashing between the two. But Sableye goes for a mean look. And in the past we've seen mean look be that they can't retreat. So I was like, what the heck? Why are you using mean look? Like this battle is three versus one. Obviously Lycanroc isn't going anywhere, but this mean look seems to have locked Lycanroc in place where he can't move. So Sableye's just throwing off Shadow Claw, he's throwing off Shadow Sneak, and Lycanroc starts to get mad, and his rage takes over again, but he's just, like, he's frozen in place, but he can move a little bit, and he's just barely dodging out of the way of all these Shadow Claws and Shadow Sneaks that's going on, but Ash continues to yell, Lycanroc, calm down, Lycanroc, calm down, dodge the attacks, Lycanroc, calm down, and Nanu makes this observation, he says, hmm, Lycanroc, seems to get stronger when his eyes turn red and he's angry and Ash is like yeah but he stops listening and Nanu makes a comment that he's like I'm not so sure that he's actually not listening to you but then uh, he orders Sableye to attack so Sableye goes in for what could be the final attack but since Ash, since Lycanroc can't move, Ash gets the brilliant idea to use Stone Edge, which surprises Nanu. This is their new attack that they just learned. He hits the ground, boom. Sableye, completely knocked out. Completely knocked out. Defeats Sableye, it's two to zero. Ash and Lycanroc are looking pretty good. Lycanroc, again, shakes off the rage, but he looks very exhausted. Overhead, we see Tapu Bulu flying around in a circle, and he tosses down a citrus berry. And after getting permission, of course, to which Nanu says, I can't go against the guardian deity. What the heck is he doing? Why is he allowing you to use a berry? Well, Lycanroc is back to full health. And then things started to get interesting. So for his last Pokemon, Nanu throws out his totem-sized Alolan Persian. Not surprising, we know that that's what it's going to be, but this thing looked really cool and it looked really in charge. Starts off with a power gem and sends him flying. Stone Edge right back though, and they're going back and forth between the two. And Nanu is saying that Lycanroc would be better off without Ash, that his rage form would be better, and that Ash is just holding him back. What does Nanu have against Ash? I know that he interrupted you in your little, you know, while you're playing with your little toy. He interrupted you like three times over the course of like five days or however long he was there. I don't know what your problem is with Ash, but my goodness, he was just laying it into him. And Ash is like, nah, he's my friend. And Nanu's like, your friendship is worthless. And he starts to get to Ash. Ash starts to get riled and Nanu's like, ha, that was the moment I was looking for. And he breaks Ash's competition and hits him with multi hits Lycanroc with multiple dark pulses. So Lycanroc starts to get mad and he goes into rage mode. And Nanu says that he wants to make them self-destruct. That's the way that he's going to win. And Ash is yelling. I mean, he's, he's, he's yelling at Lycanroc to calm down. He's yelling to Nanu that he's, he's, a, he's Lycanroc's partner. And Nanu says he's a worthless partner and goes for the Night Slash. And it hits, it hits him. You know, it hits him, but it doesn't do too much damage. He's in rage mode. So he has, he's much stronger in rage mode as we saw many times in this episode. And Ash is like, Lycanroc, you gotta calm down. Lycanroc, you gotta calm down. And Lycanroc turns around and tackles Ash out of the ring. Look at this. 
he literally lands outside the ring. And Ash gets up and he's like, what the heck are you doing? Why are you? And then he's like, wait a minute. You're not blind with anger. You're not blind with rage. You're just powering up by turning by when your eyes turn red. I'm sorry I didn't realize it. That's Ash is slipping. Ash and Pikachu, especially, those two have been slipping the last couple episodes. They need to get it together. But Ash says, hey, I'm sorry I didn't realize it. Let's do this. You know, Blykenrock is, is himself. He's good. He's ready to go. He seems to have control. Not seems to. He has fully controlled his rage. So the battle continues on. And as they're as the two are fighting, Lycanroc and Persian, they keep clashing each other. And Lycanroc learns counter and uses it mid-battle. Over three episodes, Lycanroc has learned two new moves. Rowlet learned a new move. Pikachu learned a new move. When is Toracat's turn? And is that all of Ash's Pokemon? This boy's slacking. Uh, you can't count Poipole. So Nanu goes, all right, all right, fine, fine. You want to play? And takes off his Z, his dark Z crystal on his neck, puts it into his Z ring, and hits it. And goes for Black Hole Eclipse. And the animation was super sick. Like when he went for Black Hole Eclipse, uh, you can see how he looked when he said it. But then he turned around. Like he thought the battle was over. He he went for Black Hole Eclipse, turned around, and Persian loaded up the Black Hole Eclipse. But then Ash goes, you know what? You're going to hit your Z move. I'm going to hit my Z move. Boop! And went for the Rockium Z move. And the two Z moves clashed and actually canceled out each other. But rocks were raining from the Lycan, from Lycan Rock Z move and caused uh, Persian to get hit. Persian got hit with an SL rock and Lycan Rock won the battle. Ash won his third grand trial. Nanu comes up to give him the Dark Z crystal. He holds it up and you can see Ash's eyes. He's excited for it. But Nanu goes, you know what? You're not really much of a dark guy. Hold the phone. Oh my goodness. Um, you know what? I'm going to go into that right now. If Ash's Toracat evolves into a Incineroar, he's going to want to go for Darkest Lariat as a Z move. So won't he need the Dark Z Crystal? I hope he's not just going to like steal Team Rockets or something. Whoa, that's a cool little storyline. We'll see what happens with that. Because we've seen in the past that Toracat wants to get to Incineroar's level. He can't go for the Fire Z move because that would take away from uh, Kiawe doing his thing. Whoa, that's going to be interesting to see what they do with that. But instead of the Dark Z Crystal, Nanu says, here, take this and gives him a Lycanroc Z Crystal. Explains that's for Lycanroc's uh, signature move. Bulu is up above celebrating, and as the episode ends, Ash is heading back to Melee, Melee Island. Like I said, super great episode. Lycanroc, I, I had always thought that Lycanroc was pretty weak for being a fully evolved Pokemon. It makes sense now. It's almost like his, his regular eye form is like stage one. When he turns into red eyes, <laughs> uh, he goes into stage two, so he gets a whole lot more powerful, like... We've never seen, well, I guess the first battle against Crocodile we saw him lose, but um, now Lycanroc is powered up. He's controlling his rage. I think Lycanroc is going to be very, very strong going forward. So that was this episode. Next episode, they just keep swinging right now. We see Blacephalon. We see Zerkatry. We see the Ultra Guardians. And we see Blacephalon versus Zerkatry. It looks to be a very eventful episode, another story-driven episode. I can't wait. They're, they're just knocking this stuff out of the park at this point. The only thing that let me down in this episode was the Crocodile. Crocodile went down really, really fast. But anyway, a little bit of a longer review, a little bit of a longer, a lot more stuff to talk about. Again, if you checked out this episode or after our review, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Let me know any different thoughts that you have, any theories that might have come up like my Toracat to Incineroar, Dark EMZ, Darkest Lariat, that type of thing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And again, if you have any idea why our Lycanroc versus Tapu Bulu is by far the most successful anime review that we've done, let me know because I'm trying to do that for every single one of them. 
We'll see you next week for more anime review. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.